Way ahead. How y'all doing today? Today I want to talk about some things you can do to, you know, just, uh, I don't know what is what to call it. If you are just stressing out about something, um, if you're just feeling anxious about anything, just for anyone that's like, that's just not in the best headspace. These are just some things you can do to just like, just to take care of yourself and just loving yourself. I feel like I am way better than how I was a couple months back. So there's some things I'm gonna talk about that I've done. And then there's some things that I have to s still imply in my like day-to-day -day basis. Um, but you know, ain't no rush for anything. Like I'm not sure how many of these I got. So I'm just gonna name them one by one. The first thing I'm gonna say that you can do is just get your ass to the gym. Um, you know, that's the best thing to do. Uh, if you have anything, like any tension inside you, like the gym is just the best way to just release everything. For people that just lack confidence and just um, don't like their body, it's just a, like makes you feel better on the inside and on the outside. So um, yeah, if you ain't going to the gym, like, what are you doing? No, I'm just playing. Um, I know some people are scared to go to a gym. So if you can't, um, if you're not comfortable going to a gym, a good way to start is just, you know, just doing some push-ups at home. Um, you can just do home workouts. It's nothing, you ain't got to do nothing crazy. You know, just do a couple push-ups, do a couple squats, do a couple stretches. Um, just slowly, you know, do something productive. And I feel like just adding something so simple like just a little bit of exercise you know it could just be 15 minutes it can you know slowly build your way up um and you'll slowly just start feeling better and um if, you know it feels amazing when you also just notice a change um you start having more energy you just start noticing like you're losing a little bit of weight and you know if you don't know what you're like how to workout or you don't know any workout routines i'm soon gonna make a video about that um just some things that you should do before going to the gym um some exercises you can start off with for beginners um trying to put on some new weight um i got you um the second thing you can do uh, if you have thoughts on your mind or you got anything just bothering you just bottling up on the inside um try to talk to someone about it if you don't have any family members that you can really trust or open up to um, try talking to your best friend about it. Try letting them know um, just so you don't feel like you're going through it by yourself. I know I got my homies. I know that they're always there for me whenever I need them. But I personally can't open up like that. I personally have a hard time expressing my feelings to other people. Um, and it's something I struggle with and it's something I need to work on. So if you're like me and you can't really open up to anyone or you don't trust anyone or you're just not comfortable um, with anything like that, Another thing you can do is just start journaling. Um, it's something that I need to slowly work my way in. I know I've been holding it off for a while, but, um, you know, just journaling about how you feel about today, everything you were feeling, whether it's good or bad, it's just a good way to just release all your emotions and just understand yourself um, and just connect with yourself. It's just a good way to um, let everything out instead of holding it in. And it's okay if it's, you know, not always a good day. I think it's just healthy in general to just put your feelings out somewhere. Um, and I guess the same thing could apply with the gym. Like if you just feel stressed or anything, it just helps releasing that. Um, it's never good to keep anything in. And um, that's just something I've been struggling with. So write about the good, write about the bad. And then at the end of the journaling, write three things that you love about yourself or write three things that you're grateful for always end it on a positive note no matter what whether it's a good day or a bad day um i honestly got that from gabby um and it's and it's harder than it looks um i'm not that like when she told me hey name five things that you love about yourself i barely got four off and it was really hard she was pushing me really hard and um you know you gotta learn to love yourself so i'm glad she opened that up in me pause no I'm glad she tried to bring that out of me because it makes me um, want to do that more now. When I start journaling, I want to start applying that as well. Just three things I'm grateful for and three things that I love about myself. Always end it on a good note. Your mind is always, there was like a study or something 
Um, 90% of your um, thoughts are always negative. So, you know, you got to learn how to apply some good thoughts and, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> Have I been looking at the camera this whole time? I don't even know. The third thing you can do, um, try to find like 20 or 30 minutes if you can. Um, just to like, just to like relax yourself. Go outside, catch some sun, meditate. Um, it's really good. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. Like you just have to try it. But you just feel so much better when you're outside. If you're inside all day, in the dark, in your room, um, you're not going to feel good. And you don't have to just meditate. Um, that's just one thing. You could go outside and read a book. Um, you can go outside and just, you know, listen to music, just jam out. If you can just find 20 or 30 minutes of your day to just go for a walk, um, take your dog out, you know, just connecting with nature. Um, I feel like that's, it really helps. Um, it's something I've been doing recently. I've recently just been going for walks for like 30 minutes to an hour. I've been going for walks and I've been feeling better about myself. You know, it just like when you feel productive, like you don't feel like your life is just like going to waste. Um, and if you have like a lot of stuff on your mind, like whether you're stressed or you have homework or um, you just got into an argument with like a significant other or anything like that, um, it's just a good way to just clear your mind. Um, all of these things are a good way to just release your emotions and just get back to your normal self. What am I on? Number three or number four? Uh, number four, three. Another thing you can do is limit the amount of time you spend on your phone, um, especially with social media. Um, I feel like if you're scrolling through Instagram all day, your brain just slowly, you just slowly begin to compare yourself to whatever you see. And sometimes it's not healthy. Actually, all the time it's not healthy. Social media is not healthy in general. I know I've had a problem with it. That's why I know that it's something I need to work on and it's something I am going to work on. Um, right now, I haven't been using social media as much. The only time I have been using social media is just, you know, trying to record these videos. And um, I use it to follow other fitness influencers um, and just learn from them and just, you know, just see some things I can post about and everything like that. I'm trying to be where I can create content instead of consuming content um, and just help other people that I feel like need to hear this. Um, spending all day on social media, um, you realize how much time goes by and then five hours go by and you realize you haven't done anything all day. And then you just slowly start sinking yourself in this hole um, and you become unhappy with where you are and how you are and then you start judging yourself and comparing yourself to the things you see online and not everything you see like everything you see online is not how it is in real life um, there's a lot of editing and a lot of photoshop that goes on and there's a lot of fake personas people give out on the internet and when you just consume that all day you just think that that's just normal and that's just the way it should be every day, which is not true. So put the phone down. Um, I know there's like a, a setting on your phone where you can like limit how much time you give a certain app. Um, try to do that or just cold turkey it and just quit for like a good month and just see how you feel. Like you'll feel a lot better when you just let go of everything and just go MIA for like a month, you'll slowly just start to appreciate everything that's around you instead of um, wishing you were living someone else's life. Um, it's something I've gotten better at doing and it's something I'm continuing to work on. So uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Sorry if this is like a little serious. Um, it's just, I just want to help people. This ain't really something I want to joke about or anything. Um, I'm not even funny like that, but, but yeah, delete social media if you can, if you can't restrict your time on it, um, you know, use that time to be with your family, hang out with some friends, um, just work on your craft. If you have anything that you're passionate about, um, try to pursue something, learn a new hobby. Um, once you delete social media, you'll realize there's so much time in the day where you can be productive. 
when you feel productive and you feel like you've accomplished a lot in it within a day you just feel better about yourself overall you just um yeah <laughs> or <laughs> let's see number five or number four or number six another thing you can do to help is take care of yourself when some people are not in the best headspace um, sometimes they're just in their rooms all day um, sometimes they don't shower frequently sometimes they don't brush their teeth um, and when you get into that habit where you just slowly stop taking care of yourself um, your mental comes along with like it affects you mentally as well just doing something small like that can really change um, the way you feel um, you know just small things like giving yourself a haircut getting a nice little fade you know what I'm saying uh, no fade going on right now but um, you know brush your teeth when you brush your teeth you'll be able to smile more and just smiling even if you fake smiling just you know put you in a better mood um, what else cut your nails do your eyebrows you know what fuck it you ain't got to be a girl to do that you could be a guy too um you just want to look clean um try to create a skincare routine you know shave a little bit um if you have facial hair try to shape it up if you have stubbles or like you just feel patchy you know just shave it all off you want to look clean you want to look presentable um so when you look in the mirror you're not disgusted you're like you feel more confident when you take care of yourself um dress the way you want to dress um don't feel like you have to hide um because you don't like the way your body looks in a dress or you don't feel comfortable wearing the shirt because of how much you weigh um just wear the things you love take care of yourself and yeah um another thing you can do is try to eat healthier you only got to go extreme and just go all right i'm gonna go vegan or i'm gonna eat only organic food um even though those are like good things that you can do um you don't have to just like fully switch but try to cut less on eating processed foods um try to cut less from eating fast foods try to cut less from eating um just you know like you know what's healthy and what's unhealthy just work on fueling your body with proper food and nutrients and i promise you will feel way more energized you will feel much healthier just knowing like yeah you'll just feel healthier even if it's something small it's just eating fruits you know you could just start small eat a fruit um cut down on soda and drink more water um ain't got to be anything drastic but slowly build like a healthy lifestyle you got to think of yourself as like a mercedes you know what i'm saying <laughs> i don't even know you got to think of yourself as a exotic foreign car it could be any car a lambo you want a lambo boom you a lambo oh uh, you want a ferrari you a ferrari <laughs> you a um uh, you know you want to fuel yourself with the right things um if you use the cheapest gas on the most expensive car it's not going to last long um that's the way i see it so you want to fuel yourself with the with the best foods to just you know what's best for your body and just you'll just feel good overall um so yeah try your best to slowly implement good eating um nutrition um yeah i feel like i had something else but i don't remember do you hate when that happens? You know what that's called? You know the reason why this happens? I don't know, I'm just asking. I guess that's it. I'm parked outside the gym, but I'm not going to the gym today. Um, this is just my normal hangout spot when I talk about shit. <laughs> I'm a skater, dude. <laughs> yeah, skater man. <laughs> skater boys. <laughs> My hair is shit right now, but this could be a look, low key. I could probably make this a normal thing. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Hello, mama. Um, I think that might be everything I want to talk about. It's just a couple things you can add on to your everyday life. You get bad days, you get good days. Um, 
I don't let the bad days define who I am and how far I've came. Um, you just got to keep pushing yourself and just know that, you know, it doesn't matter about how hard you fall. Um, what matters is whether or not you're going to stay on the ground or if you're going to get your ass back up. At the end of the day, as long as you're being more productive, just making the most out of your day will just put you in a better mood. Um, if you have a productive day, you're gonna feel better. You feel like you've accomplished a lot of things. Um, if you've been in your bed all day, you've been on social media, you just ordered some McDonald's and you haven't worked out, you know, you're not gonna feel good. You're gonna feel like a bag of potatoes and you don't wanna feel like a bag of potatoes. Um, um, if there's anything else that any of y'all do to help feel better, like mentally or physically, I would love to know. Um, you could either DM me or just um, just comment down below so other people could see it too. If you want to talk about anything, you could also talk to me. I'll try my best to be there for anyone. So if there's anyone that's struggling with anything, you know, feel free to text me. Um, everyone that watches this has my stuff so y'all know where to find me for our next video should i how's this looking for y'all how's this looking do y'all prefer this i prefer it like this but i don't know if y'all mess with the shadow if y'all like it like this let me know let me see how this looks okay that shit don't work thank you for watching Hopefully I helped someone that needed it. Um, next video, don't know when it's coming, but you know, whatever. Hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.